Hello, my name is Dan Zestafs, and today I'll be sharing some common misconceptions I see when playing custom Iron Assault maps. The most common misconception I see is for World War I, and it is making the German, Russian, Austro-Hungarian, and Ottoman Empires authoritarian. This one likely comes from the fact that the German, Russian, and Ottoman Empires are under authoritarianism in the base game, so that they can be formed by the respective nations of Germany, the Soviet Union, and Turkey. Authoritarian Austria-Hungary likely results from making it consistent. In real life, all four empires were monarchies, which would be under non-aligned. Russia had a czar, Germany had the emperor, Austria-Hungary had both the emperor and the king of Austria and Hungary respectively, and the Ottoman Empire had a sultan. Another common misconception is giving the German Empire Peking, or Peking, I don't know how you say it. This likely comes from representing the German and British colonies on the Shandong Peninsula, as well as several tutorials on making World War I maps in Iron Salt. I myself am guilty of this, although I have since been giving it to China instead. Peking is another way to refer to Beijing, the capital of the Qing Dynasty and the modern People's Republic of China. This one is starting to die out, but I still see it from time to time. The final misconception for this video is referring to World War II maps. Even the default World 1936 map commits this one, and it is specifically the Japanese flag. A misconception I see often is people making the flag of Japan the Imperial Japanese Navy flag, otherwise known as the Rising Sun flag that is shown here. The Rising Sun was never the national flag of Japan, but rather the naval flag. The only time it should be used is if you're making the Japanese Empire reformable for Japan. Those are three misconceptions I see in most Iron Assault maps. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Later.